Hi everybody, welcome back to OC Avery. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the new birds that we've brought in over the past few weeks. We picked up a few birds from Stafford and we picked up a few in previous weeks. We haven't taken a look at them because I wanted to save it all for one video. So we've got nothing new species wise, but what we have got is outcrossers and birds to make up pairs and improve the birds that we've already got. So let's go and take a look. So this first bird, we uh, we brought in a cinnamon Norwich hen uh, about a month ago now. We picked it up, or I was actually given it at the All British Show, very kindly by Brian Rayfield, who is a viewer of the channel, and he keeps uh, a variety of Norwich in different colours, and he is particularly successful with his darker birds and his cinnamons. So we was gifted that hen, and it needs a partner. So. The best people I thought to ask because I needed it in a, you know, a relative short time scale was the Robertson Jones partnership of Anglesey. So I spoke to these guys and said, if there's any birds you've got spare, we need a buff Norwich cock, any color will do, what have you got? Uh, and they very kindly sorted me this. So this is a, three, I believe they said it's a 10% or a three parts dark Norwich cock. It's a buff and it's a green base, a green based bird fantastic bird absolutely gorgeous it's fit it's really bouncing uh, which is great because i know norwich are a relatively hard breed to get hold of uh, and to get them fit so by having a, one that was already sort of fit for me and something to work on is great uh, and i just must say as well that these guys gave me this bird they didn't want anything for it so these are two of the nicest birdmen i've ever met not the only two nice ones but two of them you know of the nicest and these guys are, are brilliant so Huge thank you uh, to Richard and Arwell for that bird. Uh, it really is uh, very kind of you to give me that bird. And I'm looking forward to see how we get on with it this breeding season. So that does mean that we're going to have a pair of Norwich or possibly a trio. But we'll talk about that in another video. So there you are. The first is a Norwich cock, a green buff Norwich cock. Next up is a bird we brought in from Kenny Masterman now. Many of you may have seen the Canary Rooms tour of Kenny Masterman's setup. Kenny keeps mainly red poles and you'll see by the quality of this bird. So I needed a, a, a red pole cock, a normal red pole cock, and I needed an outcross for one and two. I needed a good quality bird and that is certainly what Kenny sorted me here. So we're going to look at what we're going to pair this to in a second because we've brought in a partner for it. But this bird is absolutely fabulous. It is, I believe, the son of the bird that took the best at the uh, North East British Bird and Mule Club show. So it's the son of that bird, which means that the bird is clearly carrying some very good quality in there because Kenny is a champion uh, exhibitor. So huge thank you to Kenny for that bird. It's a beautiful bird. I think the shape of this bird is great and the size. We just need that bird to do its job here and put itself, uh, you know, and make its stamp on the hen that we're going to look at next for what we're going to pair it to. But either way, it's a fabulous bird. Huge thank you, Kenny. So this is another bird which was kindly gifted to me, and this is a green finch cock from Terry McCracken. Now, many of you will recognize the name, especially if you keep British birds in the UK. Terry McCracken is one of the top green finch guys, and he's been at the top for a relatively long time himself and Jack Lloyd. Now, Terry uh, kindly gifted me this bird. I mentioned to Terry back in November that I could do with an outcross green finch, and this is what Terry sorted me. Now, the bird does look a little bit scruffy, don't worry, it's just because it's been in the flight with a couple of other cock birds, uh, it'll be absolutely fine in a few weeks' time. Just needs a few more baths and a little bit more time for its feathers to come back out, which may have been lost when we picked him up from Stafford, uh, because he certainly didn't enjoy the trip as much as I did. So. This is a cracking cock bird. The colour of this bird is fabulous. I think once he's really bathed a lot more, he's really going to show himself well. So there you are. That is a green finch cock from Terry McCracken. Huge thank you, Terry, for gifting me that bird. And I'm looking forward to see how we get on with him this breeding season. And I'm sure he's going to make a big stamp on the future of my stud. 
If you've been following the channel for a relatively long time, you'll know that at Stafford in October, we picked up two pairs of Portuguese Harlequin canaries from our friend Alexander Rees. Now, sadly, it did turn out that one of those hens did start singing and turned into a cockbird. So I was very lucky that actually a good contact, I managed to actually swap one of the cockbirds with a hen that she had. She was short of a cockbird, I was short of a hen. So it worked perfectly. So we brought in this hen, she's a lovely bird and I'm hoping that we'll get some good results from her this breeding season as we start breeding some Portuguese Harlequins. So now let's take a look at the nuclears I've kept for myself. You may hopefully remember if you've seen the latest episode uh, is that after the Stafford show, we brought back about eight nuclear canaries. Now, everyone who's bought some, thank you so much. We've actually managed to sell out of all of the new colors. Well, we brought back about 40 pairs and there's not one of them who has not been spoken for or has not gone to a new home. So I kept back a few birds from that. Obviously by getting these quality birds, I couldn't miss the opportunity to bring in that quality and to try and breed that quality. So what I chose was the yellow agate opals. So I've sorted myself uh, three pairs and a spare hen. So we have three cock birds, we have two yellows and a buff. Very nice birds, good colour and well marked. Marking is, to, is, to my understanding, a huge part of keeping new colours. And when you show the birds, the, new, the markings do have an awfully big influence on the results of where that bird will place. So I've chose three well marked cock birds, two yellows and a buff to go with four hens. These four hens, we have three buffs in there. We have two that are, um, well, we have one that is an absolute definite buff. Buff, she is a much lighter bird. We have two that are still buffs, but more intermediate. And then we have a yellow hen. Again, all well-marked birds. So I'm hoping what we'll be able to do this year is run three or four pairs of the yellow agate opals to breed for myself so we can breed some quality new colours to begin to build that line of new colours as feeders for the British birds and other birds like the Norwich canaries. So we're going to have a variety there and we've got the quality in our feeders which is very important because it means I can now start two separate lines of feeders. One of large feeders which will be the new colours, the yellow AA opals and the others of small feeders a mix of between a pair of razors and a pair of irish which will again eventually merge together to build small feeders which will feed stuff like red poles on the subject of the new colors i'd just quickly like to say thank you to dotty reel for obviously helping me out he brought the birds over from ireland saw, uh, and sold me the rest of what he had i'd like to say thank you to mac finch for all the advice that he gave me when buying these birds because mac uh, was also there and he was selling the birds and i spoke to him he's good good mates with him so he's a good guy uh, just before we go as well i'd just like to say that i've got a friend who is in south wales uh, he's got a number of these birds that uh, i sold him a number of these birds and he's got a couple of spare cocks to go if you are interested please do drop me a message instagram facebook or email he's got a, a few a gate mosaic cocks in classic and topaz i believe uh, and a yellow brown opal mosaic as well so do drop us a message and i'll be able to forward you on his details uh, so you can contact him there's only cocks to go but these are some very very good quality cock birds so there you are guys that is our new birds we brought back from stafford and previously so that should be the only birds that we now bring in before the breeding season. Of course, we're going to Newark in a few weeks' time. So the Newark show is on the 27th, I believe, uh, Sunday the 27th of March. If you are coming down, do uh, you know do do come over and say hello. I will be filming at the show almost entirely. I might take a few birds if there's a few spares that need to go. But other than that, I can't see me picking anything else up there unless something drops dead which would be a real shame or i see an opportunity i just can't miss so anyway hopefully you have enjoyed this video and seeing some of the new birds so if you have please do subscribe down below so you don't miss any more of my future videos smash a like on this video if you have enjoyed it hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my future videos and i'll see you in the next video